Hello, my name is Mary and I'm coming to you from the children's room of the Portland Public Library in Portland, Maine. And I'm here today to read a story. And today we're going to do The Incredible Painting of Felix Clouseau by John Agee. It was published in 1988 by Para Strauss Giroux. In Paris, the royal palace was holding its grand contest for art. From all over the city, painters came to show their pictures. One of them was an unknown painter named Felix Clouseau. All the great artists were there. Gaston de Stroganoff showed the king on his throne. Felicien Caféolet showed the king on horseback. Alphonse le Camembert showed the king in armor. Then, Clouseau showed his painting. Outrageous, the judges cried. Never had they seen such a ridiculous painting. Then, suddenly, Quack! A sound came from the painting. The judges were stung. Clouseau was awarded the grand prize. They called him a genius. It was the first time in history a painting had quacked. But that was only half of it. Clouseau became famous. He was held from one side of Paris to the other. Even the king commissioned a painting, but soon there was trouble. A wealthy baroness on the Clouseau painting called the Sleeping Bar Constrictor. One night, it awoke. In fact, wherever there was a Clouseau canvas, there was chaos. The public was furious. There were damages. Somebody had to pay. So Clouseau was sent to prison. Clouseau's paintings were seized, all except one. Meanwhile, a notorious jewel thief was on the loose. All over Paris, diamonds, emeralds, and sapphires were missing. One night, the thief broke into the king's palace to steal the crown. The next morning, to the king's surprise, he found the thief caught in the grasp of a ferocious dog. The crown was saved. Clouseau, who was a hero, he was awarded the Medal of Honor, released from prison. He went back to his studio and returned to his painting. And that is The Incredible Painting of Felix Clouseau by John Agee. It was published in 1988 by Farrar, Strauss, and Giroux. I hope you enjoyed our story today and Maybe you want to go and do a painting of your own now.
that's it for today. And until next time, bye-bye.